Hello and welcome to this video of what's new in Windows 10. Now looking at the desktop of Windows 10, Microsoft's uh, latest operating system, uh, which is now released on beta. Microsoft seemed to be breaking away from the one-size-fits-all concept which they tried to do with Windows 8, where you had a, a similar experience uh, on all your devices, um, plainly because it did, didn't work, and you will find they look similar, but um, there's going to be some changes throughout mobile devices compared to your uh, to, compared to your desktop. So the first thing we can see here is the uh, the start menu has changed. Um, in Windows 10, Microsoft have done away with the tiles and they've gone back to this standard um, start menu, um, which does allow you to snap some tiles for quick access on the right here. Um, I, I quite like this. I think it looks good um, and the colours are okay. Um, and it's also got a search option here as well. Um, which is very, very handy. The search in Windows 10 is also hugely improved. It's really, really quick. Um, if I tap in Snap, for instance, you will see that it not only brings up the snipping tool, uh, but it also brings up apps like Snapchat, um, and you can also do search online straight from your start menu, which is um, a really nice feature. Um, as I said, there is no Metro interface, so that means that your apps now are going to be sh displayed in Windows, which is great. Um, so if I just pop open this app, which I downloaded from the store, uh, the eBay app, um, you can see that it's windowed and I can use it just like any other, um, any other application uh, I had installed on my computer. With displaying of the apps, uh, they've actually changed the way you can snap um, the apps. Uh, previously on Windows 8, you could snap two applications. Um, so if I just bring up another one. Second, if I just bring up Skype for instance, you could uh, snap Skype to the left and then it would allow you to see Snap and um, Skype at the same time. Let me just bring that one down. So if I snap Skype to the right here, and you can choose which one you want on your left, so I'll choose eBay, and um, you can see that they snapped side by side. Uh, this was available actually in Windows 8, um, but now you can actually snap four at once. So you have four apps open, it will actually go into um, four squares and you can view them all at the same time. This is available on all devices, um, but evidently it's going to be only used really with a, with a big screen. Now whilst we're looking at uh, multitasking, they have a new feature which is actually available on um, some Linux and Mac um, operating systems, which is called Task View. So if you hover down to this icon here called Task View and tap that, um, you can see uh, your different tasks, which is sort of like alt-tabbing um, if you're a user that uses that. Now the real thing here is if you um, have two sets of desktops which you want to work with and you can see here you can add a desktop. Now by adding a desktop um, it basically gives you a clean slate so I could go and do some internet browsing here and then I could have a nice, another task view uh, where I have my work applications open so it may be useful for sort of work and home and um, you don't want to go closing your windows down uh, and you want to section them all together. Uh, I think it's a really nice feature on my Mac. I'm always using that feature um, and it's really, really good. However, you can still get to uh, your windows by alt-tabbing like you did previously where I can flick through the tabs. So um, that's it for now. Um, they're the new, latest features of Windows 10. Whenever we find any, anything else new, I'll release um, some more, more videos. Um, comment, let me know what you think of Windows 10 and um, thanks for watching.